we have to now study projection with link what is projection first of all let us understand what is projection how it is done in traditional sql then we will uh, see how to do it with link so here we go uh, let us understand how projection is done in sql suppose we write a query like this select star from tbl x and tbl x has let us suppose c1 c2 c3 c4 it has four columns when we write select star it selects all the columns so basically it will select all c1 c2 c3 c4 but if i want to select only c1 and c2 then that is called projection if i write select c1 comma c2 from tblx then this is called projection by default the table that comes after projection has two columns having same name as c1 and c2 the columns will be same c1 and c2 but if we want to give them different names then how do we do in traditional we write select c1 as call1 comma c2 as call2 from tbl x so in this case you are giving aliases to the two columns oracle has a different way of giving the alias equal as different way but at the end of the day both are aliases now the point is that aliases can be given if we don't write this then c1 is alias and c2 is alias if we write this then it is specifically call1 is the alias and call2 is the alias so projection is taking out certain columns from a table instead of all the columns and optionally giving them certain aliases this can be done with link also and let us see this is our uh, project that we have been doing till uh, last time this is the index action that will be called and uh, that returns get data and get data function returns a grouping we were studying so basically this is our order data is our database and uh, we can now remove this part to write today's code okay how do we take all columns we can write where query is equal to ls so this gives me all the columns basically but if i want to take only amount and invoice too i will use dot select the collection is of type c order data and here i'll write x uh, select dot x so c order data is the type of the collection this accepts two arguments if you see here one is the source the other is the result the t source is the type of source that is the type of the collection and t result is the type of the result in this case t source is c order data and the result is a new object if we define a separate class for that then that class will be will be set here but generally we do not need to set a new class we can simply use the dynamic keyword of c sharp this dynamic keyword will actually 
से द टाइप इज डिटर्मिंड डायनेमिकली बाय द कंपाइलर एट रन टाइम इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली डिड्यूस दैट क्लास टाइप इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली एट द बैक एंड प्रोबेबली क्रिएट ए क्लास एंड देन सब्सटीट्यूट इट हेयर सो वी नीड नॉट स्पेसिफिकली क्रिएट ए क्लास फॉर दैट इट यूज द डायनेमिक की वर्ड फॉर दैट सो हाउ इज अ डायनेमिक ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएटेड वी कैन राइट एक्स गोज टू न्यू एंड आई कैन राइट दिस इज द सिंटेक्स फॉर ए डायनेमिक ऑब्जेक्ट आई एम राइटिंग न्यू ए इज इक्वल टू एक्स डॉट अमाउंट कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू एक्स डॉट इनवाइस टू so this one demands a certain explanation i have written new a goes to a uh, new a is equal to x dot amount b is equal to x dot inverse to so this is basically a dynamic of dynamic object you can think of it as class class any name we can call it class n1 and here we have written public amount is a integer then public int a get set and invoice 2 is a string so public string b get set so you can think think of this as a class n1 or since we have not named it you can think it even better like class dynamic so we are writing class dynamic whenever you have an unnamed class we can call it by the name dynamic that is we have not given any name compiler will automatically understand or make a meaning out of it we are writing class dynamic public int a public string b it has two properties a and b so dynamic is the return type you can create dynamic object like this by writing new a, a is equal to x dot amount i can create more dynamics here dynamic z is equal to new you just have to uh, put nothing after new just start the curly brace and you are creating a dynamic object of a class anonymous class we can say dynamic z is new so this will create an anonymous object of an anonymous class this will create an object of an anonymous class i can now give it a property name is equal to then we can give any any other uh, tr x is equal to 89 so this is a dynamic object z is a dynamic object having two properties name and trx its class will be automatically created by the compiler at the back end so dynamic z is new this is how you can create a dynamic an object a dynamic object of an anonymous class anonymous class is a class to which you have given no name had i if i wanted to create an object of a non anonymous that is of a of a class that has a name then this is the way we use new name of the class followed uh, followed by two uh, round brackets and remaining everything stays same so here you don't uh, you are not writing any name so it becomes an anonymous class anonymous uh, an object of an anonymous class i'm removing this one so we are writing where query is equal to ls dot select the first argument is the type of collection on which it is operating and second is the type of the result result is dynamic so we have written x goes to new a is equal to x dot amount b is equal to x dot invoice to 
Now let us try to display it so using the string builder. And for each where we in query we can now just write dot append format we can write uh, a is equal to comma b is equal to and write our hr tag here comma v dot intelligence won't appear because it is a dynamic so you will have to write it yourself v dot b and then we can write return as b dot to string so just compacting it here it is public string get data you are creating a list adding certain elements then using the select function to generate a dynamic result and where we in query, query contains dynamic objects so intellisense is not available here we have to write it correctly and if we commit a mistake here then exception will be thrown now let us run it and see the output so here is the output we have got it done correctly Here when we write a is equal to x dot amount, b is equal to x, we are generating an uh, aliases. We could, if we, instead of using this, if we had written it like this, then the aliases would have been v dot amount, the same would have been the aliases here. And we would have written invoice 2. And here we will have to, we can just make a customary change here, amount is equal to this and invoice is equal to invoice 2 is equal to this. So this time uh, the same property will become the alias. X dot amount will become a, uh, that property of the dynamic will become same as amount and this property will be named to as invoice2 and we can run this and see it also so here you can see this the same story so in this lecture we saw how to create a dynamic object and how to uh, perform projection by using the concept of a dynamic we are uh, creating a forage here and then you can read the dynamic here.